Hello everyone, today we will talk about retrofit and I will show you how to make some requests like post, update, put and delete. And I will also show you how to add headers, queries and paths to your routes. So let's start the video. So retrofit is an HTTP client for Android and it simplifies the way of making requests and receiving responses from the network. So let's jump into Android Studio and let's see how to add the retrofit in our project. So let's go into build.gradle.k3s from the app module and inside you need to add the dependency that is 2.11.0 at this time and you will find it in the description. So now let's go into the main activity and here we need to create an API manager. This API manager is an interface that contains annotations that are enable retrofit to do the work for us and we simply need to create the interface as, as I said, API manager and inside we will create the functions. Now inside we need to create a companion object that holds the API URL. So let's say companion object const val and let's say base URL and let's say for example uh, example.com and put a slash. This base URL will be added in the retrofit builder and by doing that we don't need to specify the URL every time that we are making a request. So Let's make the first request by saying suspend fun, get coffee. And we are, not, are annotating this with suspend because we are making net requests and let's return a simple string. And we need to annotate this with get. And inside we need to specify a path. For example, we have coffee and we are receiving a coffee from this path. Now, if we want to receive a specific coffee, let's say by an ID, let's say coffee, put an ID here, let's say get coffee by ID, let's get an ID from the parameters and now let's say path ID and let's import the path. And as you notice, we have the same name as here. And this will be replaced with the ID that is passed here in the parameters. If you want to make a query to receive from a list, for example, certain items, you can say, let's say coffee and get coffee by origin. And here we will have a query replace this with origin and this is the name of the query and in the URL will look something like this origin equals let's say Arabica but if you are doing that you can specify the origin here let's say string and this will make the output to look like this and let's remove this from here for example, if you want to add a header to your function, you need to say headers, open the brackets and inside you can say, for example, content type application JSON. Or if you want to pass a header as a parameter in case you have an API key that is not global, you need to say header and inside you put the header name, authorization, for example. And after that, we need to say token and string. Now let's create a coffee data class because I need to show you how to send the class to the request. So let's say vol ID integer vol name string. Let's put some empty values for now. And now let's say that we want to create a coffee, right? So let's say post suspend fun create coffee get the coffee and here we need to say coffee in order to pass this coffee to the api request we need to annotate this with body and now if we want to update something for example we need to use put and let's say we have an id for that so id update coffee let's put this on separate lines we have the updated coffee here and we also have an ID 
And this means that we are updating the coffee, for example, with the ID of three. And this is the ID and we are passing the updated body to the request. And now if we want to delete something, we need to annotate with delete, suspend fun, delete coffee. And in the URL, we simply say coffee and by the ID, we need to create a path for that to replace the ID. And this is called ID and is an integer. Then now in order to make retrofit convert the JSON to a coffee class, for example, let's say that it returns here a coffee class instead of a string, we need to have a retrofit converter. So as I said, a retrofit converter basically converts the JSON response or XML in some cases into classes in Kotlin or Java if you're using Java. Okay, and now before creating the client, we need to go to the build.gradle.k3s from the app module and we need to add the converter dependency and the Moshi dependency because I'm using Moshi as a converter. So if you want to use JSON or Jackson or other types of converters, you are free to do that. So add the converter Moshi and also the Moshi Kotlin dependency and let's sync the project. And now let's go into the main activity and scroll up and let's create Moshi first because we need to pass that to the client. So Moshi equals Moshi Builder. And let's say add last Kotlin JSON adapter factory. And we also need to say build. Then now let's create the API manager and this is equal to retrofit builder now let's say base url is api manager base url because we have it in the companion object now we need to say build create and pass api manager as class.java and this means that this client has these functions and we can access them whenever we want and now we need to pass Moshi so let's say add converter factory Moshi converter factory dot create and pass the Moshi instance here and that's it and if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more content like this and I also have a blog on which I'm posting so if you want to expand your knowledge make sure to give me a follow on that too so see you in the next video